Hey guys, it's Jen over at worldofjencraft.com and this is our project for today. So remember those little uh, treat pouches that I made using the envelopes? I had also found a uh, tutorial on how to create a little gift bag. So I made two different variations. We are going to be making this one, um, but I will also tell you what the dimensions are to create this one as well. So. Um, I just wanted to show you quick this little piece here from the apron of love flips up so you can include a little um you know hello or whatever it's for on the inside and it's kind of all in one so let's get to the supplies and i will show you how to put it together so i use the uh cherry cobbler double stitched ribbon so it has these cute little x's on it and some medium whisper white envelopes. I believe they're the A2 size that fit the four and a quarter by five and a half uh, cards. The Apron of Love bundle. Yes, love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, so one of my favorites from the Occasions catalog. And then I also wanted to show you the fruit basket is the stamp set that I use to create this really cute little basket on there. And look at the wink of still on those little strawberries. Isn't that just adorable? So, um, yeah, so that's what I used for that. And the fruit basket is also a bundle and it comes with four little punches that come cut out the little fruits in there. Um, the ticket tear punch is what I used as well. And then you're also going to want some pretty strong adhesive for this. For the card supplies or well bag supplies, I guess, uh, one envelope is what you'll need for that a real red piece of cardstock that measures two and a quarter by six and then you'll just need a little scrap to cut out the handle um handle i want to call it a handle but it's like the apron string and then the little front pocket thing <laughs> real technical there a scrap of whisper white to cut out the front part of the pocket and then you'll need a little tiny scrap of silver foil um, to cut out the little utensils a piece of Tutti Frutti DSP that is going to measure about two and a quarter by three and a quarter to cut out the apron front. Um, and I guess I did forget a little tiny scrap for this heart that we're going to put inside. And another piece of Whisper White that is, what is this? And I know I wrote it down. Where is it? One and three quarters by one and five eighths. Um, and last but not least, the Tutti Frutti DSP again, which is going to be uh, two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And you will need two of these because I did put one on the back as well as the front. So let's go ahead and I'm going to, what do I want to do first? Let's get to the bag first. So I'm going to pull out my paper trimmer to do my scoring. Um, but if you have a scoring board, then of course that works as well. And then let me grab my bone folder here. So this particular bag that we are working on, you are going to want to score at three quarters of an inch and make sure that you make a pretty nice impression with that. And then you're going to score it at three quarters of an inch again. That's going to become our bottom and then three quarters of an inch again on the other side. And then, and then <laughs> you are going to cut off the very top of it at three quarters of an inch as well. Um, so when you go to make this little bag, if you wanted to make the smaller, it's a little bit wider and a little bit shorter. Um, so this one is cut, uh, is scored at one inch all along the sides and then I cut off one inch at the top in order to make this one. So um, let's go ahead and we're going to burnish all of our ends or edges. So I'll do that and fast forward through it. You're going to want to make sure that you just get a nice good crease on here and you're going to do it 
Um, I recommend going on both sides with that crease just to make sure that it's nice and good when you do that. So you're going to do that to all three of these um, scored lines. And really technically what you should have done first <laughs> is just put some adhesive down because um, you want to make sure that that flap is closed. So that's an easy fix. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and burnish these and then I'll come back to you. So before you get to actually creating your box, you're going to take your little punch or you can leave it just plain as well. And I'm going to go ahead and just punch the edges on here with this, lining it up on the next go round. And I missed a little spot in the middle. So let me see if I can line this back up. Okay. And then you're just going to do that all the way along the edge here. It's not wanting to go back in. Of course it's going to fight me. All right. Do I have it? Oh, that looked... That's beautiful. Let's see if I got some stuff stuck in here. All right, let's try this one more time. Okay, now we're almost there. All right, done. Whew, that took a lot more time and effort and energy than I wanted it to. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to open this up and you are going to push in the bottom here. So you'll put your hand in here and that's just going to get pushed in which then is going to automatically create these little triangles here. And then on this other side as well. That's why you want your lines to be nicely creased so that meets right there and creates that little triangle. So you'll <clears throat> go ahead and just kind of finger press that in. And then this will come in like so, if it's going to cooperate, there. So I went ahead and I just used a little bit of my uh, really nice adhesive here. You can also use a glue dot to keep it closed. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and put my, my tape along the edges. And then these are just going to go... I like to kind of put my hand in here to kind of give it a little bit of stability when I'm folding this in, but you're just going to fold it down like that on both sides. And then there we have our little bag. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover up the front and the back with our DSP. And that's just going to go centered in there. Kind of. <laughs> Maybe not. All right. So that's that. So you have your front and your back. Make sure that that's nice and stuck down. And let's go ahead and I'm going to make this. So this is that two and a quarter by six inch piece of real red. And I'm just going to fold this in half and then burnish it with my little bone folder here. And we're going to bring in the big shot and your die. And I'm going to line it up so the very top part of my die, I just want it hanging over the edge here. So I don't want it to cut it. I want to leave that folded edge in place. So I'm going to go ahead and set that down on here and just get this lined up. So that's going to create how it opens up. And this is what you will have. So it's just going to... Oh. Well, okay, so <laughs> maybe I got it a little too close to the edge. I think we're going to take two and try this again. Okay, let's try this again. That was not in the plan at all. So I'm, I think I'm going to leave just a little bit of a lip. And I promise I have cut this a couple times before I even started the video just to make sure that I could. So, all right, let's try this again. 
let's hope for a folded one instead of a cut in two one. Okay, yay, it worked, <laughs> I promise. It shouldn't have been that difficult. Um, so then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to put this on the front. And that's just gonna get lined up perfectly on the front. And then I'm going to take the little handle that we cut and that is going to get adhered to this back side. So I'm just going to use adhesive on this because this whole thing is going to get adhered to the front. So we're just going to put this little, I guess I keep calling it a handle. I don't know why I want to call it a handle. Maybe because it was a handle on my little, um, the little, uh, Oh, what are they called? The Hershey's Nugget um, holders. So that's going to go there because you want it to be able to open up when you have that. So, and then let me bring this back in. I just kept that straight up and down on the front here. So I don't know, probably about there-ish is where you want it. And let's grab out our ink which I had this study out and I don't think I went over it. So we're using the garden green for our ink. And that is going to get stamped out onto our little front piece here. I promise you when I go and get ready for my videos, I, I know I should probably plan for something going wrong, but I just always have this vision of everything working out perfect on <laughs> my videos. I don't know why. I should probably just get over that idea. Um, but So that's just going to get stamped in here. And it says, thanks for being there in a pinch. This is just too cute. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to the front of my little pocket. And then that's going to go on to the front of our so I'm going to bring this down so it's going to have a little tiny bit um, up here at the top and then just kind of perfectly go along this little scalloped edge. And like I did in my first one, um, I went ahead and I used some glue that is not coming out. So we're improvising. I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive on it and then I'm just going to stick our little utensils coming out here. So one's going to go there and one's going to come maybe a little bit higher up kind of going that way and then our cute little rolling pin is just going to come out like so maybe coming over a little bit ish I don't know something like that and that's just going to go on to the front here like so yeah that'll work huh then on the inside we're going to take this little bitty bitty teeny tiny heart that is stuck over here in my stuff and i'm going to put this on a glue dot And ideally, a small glue dot would work better, but I don't have those out right now. So I'm just going to kind of hide this little glue dot underneath of the heart. And that'll give it a little bit more dimension that way, too. And that is going to go down here on the front of that. And this is going to get adhered to the inside like-ish. There. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to tie a little teeny tiny knot with our ribbon. We don't need much. And I want to make sure that when I tie this knot that I'm bringing my ribbon around so you can see the X's on both sides. So I'm going to just kind of trim this really super close like that and then we're going to stick this on 
with a glue dot. And that's just going to go up towards the top of our little apron ties. So just like that. And that is it. We are done. Didn't that turn out really super cute? I think it'd be a fun little uh, treat bag. You can put some candy in uh, like a little cellophane bag and, and have it coming out and then write your little hello or whatever it is you want to put in there. Um, so that's it. This was our project. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, for sticking with me um, on this one, even though it didn't go as planned. But then again, my videos never do. So, uh, worldofgencraft.com, I will have printable, downloadable dimensions, um, as well as scoring information for the envelope. Thanks for watching. I will check you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.